It occurs to me that the presentation yesterday may have been unclear on the question of the Whitman equations. The Whitman equations, you might remember, basically do a cost-benefit analysis. CBA, which is the net benefit, equals the ALE prior to implementing safeguards. ALE is the annualized loss expectancy, the amount you lose minus ALE post, which is the amount you lose after you've implemented the safeguard, minus ACS, where the, that's the cost of implementing the safeguard on an annualized basis. So you can think of this, you can think of this as the benefit equals before minus after minus the cost of implementing the system if you want to think of it in simpler language now we set ALE post and ALE uh, so ACS to zero because we wanted to figure out the maximum possible cost benefit uh, maximum possible net benefit from the system. So basically the maximum CBA equals the ALE prior to implementing the system. In other words, you can't save any more than you're losing now. So that's that. Now, now that's not confusing. That's for relatively straightforward. But let's, let's take a look at the components of ALE. ALE equals the asset value times the exposure factor times ARO, which is the annualized rate of occurrence. You can think of this as the loss equals the value uh, times the uh, well exposure times the number of incidents. Okay, now what we're trying to do is say that this could be one number, AVEF call it, or something. So it's basically the value per incident times the incidents. So we don't need to know the asset value or the exposure factor. We can just individually, we can just count this as one figure. The reason we need to do this is because almost all of the reports that you find, they, they tell you what the loss was. They don't tell you what the assets were that were at risk in the first place. And they certainly don't tell you the exposure factors. Um, so you, we, we can really say uh, ALE. equals AVEF times ARO. So that's our modified or simplified Whitman equation. Now if we know if we know that there's there, that nine billion dollars were lost in identity theft and we know that there were six million incidents then 9 billion divided by 6 million gives us the dollars per incident. That's how we came up with our number uh, 1,500. Because 1,500 is the AVF. AVEF, sorry. By this computation. So, too many colors here. But, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about using the term AVEF to explain the rest of this paper, I'm wondering if it clarifies it better, because people who are familiar with the Whitman equations, they want to use this exposure factor, and they want to really, you know, and it's an important part of the equation, but for our analysis, we can't know it. There's no way to find that information. It's hard enough finding the information on the ALE and the ARO uh, in units that are consistent. So um, I'm basically wondering if we should use that 
concept of AVEF in our paper to explain the uh, you know the relative quantification of the the different security threats. Whatever opinion you may have, I'd really appreciate uh, appreciate your input on that.